Hey everybody, I hope you're having a great time with the substitute. Wish I could be there with you. Um, today I'm going to show you how to do a vocabulary assignment. So during Phineas Gage and in some of our later units, we are going to have some, some bigger vocabulary assignments where you learn more about word roots and prefixes and suffixes, as well as about new vocabulary words. So again, Phineas Gage is a book that we are going to start reading next week when I get back. And it is about a very famous brain injury. So some of these vocabulary words and word roots are related to the brain and some are not. Some are just words we're going to come across as we read the book. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go to Schoology and go to the language arts page and you need to click on the Phineas Gage folder. Okay, if you click on that orange folder, go to assignments and assessments and open up your Phineas page Gage vocabulary number one, and it's gonna look like this. Okay, there's a part one and a part two. So for part one, I'm gonna go through the PowerPoint here. And the first part is word roots and prefixes and suffixes. So for example, the first one is a prefix, meaning it goes before a word, and that's the word ante, which means in front of or before. So this word part ante is always gonna go before. Now on your assignment, you'll see that we have a class example word, like anti-mortem. Now mort means death. So anti-mortem is before death. So for example, if you said, oh, this person um, had the disease anti-mortem, that means that they had this disease before they died. So you're gonna fill in on your assignment, you're gonna type in before death, right? Now in this column over here, you need to add two more example words, and then you need to write one of those example words, write it in a sentence. So the example words and definitions, these are words that have to have anti in them. So if you look right up here, there's two websites where you can find the example words. One is learnthat.org, and the other one is called Membean. So I'm gonna go to Membean. Here's what it looks like, right? It goes in alphabetical order, and it's full of root words and prefixes and suffixes. So I'm gonna find anti, doo, 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 doo. There it is right there and see how it says before. So I'm gonna click on that and it brings up the root and tree. Okay, so here's the word anti means before. These are all words that have anti in them like antecedent, okay? Something that has happened or existed before, okay? You could also use this website, which is similar, just organized differently. So if I you know, click on the A, and I scroll down to A-N, there it is, A-N-T-E, which means before or in front of, okay? And then they've got a bunch of words here, anteceed, antimeridian, which means before noon, anteroom, a small room before the main room. So you need two example words. So maybe you will type, you know, antecedent and anteroom, whatever, whichever ones you want. But you also need the definitions. So I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna look at the definition of anteroom, a small room before the main room, etc. Now you can do that for, oops, I put that on the wrong word, but you get the idea. Okay, you can do that for both words and then you need to pick one of these two words or you can even use the class example word and write a sentence over here. So I'm gonna use antemortem. The individual had the disease antemortem. Okay. And then you're going to do this for each one. Okay. I'm going to keep going through the PowerPoint and teaching you the rest of the words. Okay. Our next root word is cron. Cron. And cron means time. So the word chronically is the class example word. So in your assignment, you need to type long lasting or a problem that is persistent. For example, she was chronically sick. That means she was always sick. It was like an ongoing problem that was long lasting. If someone is chronically sick, they are sick all the time. So cron means time. You now need to go to either membean.com or learnthat.org and you can just click on your assignment and look up cron. So you'll go to C, go down to CH. Okay, there it is, time chronic, chronological, synchronize. So these are all words that you can add 
to your example words. Make sure you put both the word and the definition in there. Pick one of these three words chronically and one, or one of your two example words and use it in a sentence over here. Okay, your next word is hemi, and hemi means half, like hemisphere, right? The class example word is hemialgia. Hemialgia means pain on one side of the head or body. Please type that definition next to the class example word on your assignment, pain on one side of the head or body. Then go to one of the two websites and find two more words that have the root word hemi. Our next word, root word is a suffix. This means it goes on the end of a word. So the suffix is O-U-S, I-O-U-S, or E-O-U-S. When you put that at the end of a word, it always means full of or characterized by. Okay, usually this is in an adjective. So for example, adventurous means full of adventure. Okay, adventurous means full of adventure. Please type this in the class example word box. Then go to one of the two websites, membean or learnthat.com and find some more words that end in O-U-S, I-O-U-S, or E-O-U-S. Remember, you need to add two example words and definitions, and then use one of your three words over here in a sentence. Our next word is um, our, now a vocabulary word. So you now need to scroll down to part two of your assignment. What you're gonna do is we're gonna read through the definition, then you need to use thesaurus.com to find a synonym and an antonym. Then you'll see that next to each word, there's a page number right? Page 15, page 27. You're going to get a book, the Phineas Gage book, which is on the table by the window. And you're going to turn to that page. You have to find this word and how it is used in the book and type that sentence from the book right here. Then you need to use the word in your own original sentence as well. Okay. So the first word is sterile. So sterile, which is found on page 15 of the Phineas Gage book, means free from bacteria or other living microorganisms. It also means totally clean. So I'm going to go to thesaurus.com, right? So you can just click the link right there. Right? And I'm going to go to the top and type in sterile and press enter. These are all synonyms. Sterile means antiseptic, bleak, futile, hygienic. Right, so I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna type in hygienic. Right Now an antonym can also be found here. So if I go back to the source.com and I scroll down, in the gray are antonyms for sterile. So the opposite of sterile would be contaminated or cheerful. Okay, so I'm gonna go back and add an antonym contaminated in my box there. Okay, so hygienic or clean synonyms Antonyms, contaminated or unclean. You need to go add the sentence from the book on page 15, and then you need to write an original sentence there. So for example, I would say, the hospital room was clean and sterile before the surgery. Great, okay, let's move to our next words. The next word is constitution. Not like the constitution of the United States. This constitution is a noun and it means a person's physical state with regard to vitality, health, and strength. The rock has a very strong constitution. Our next word is abates, okay? Abates is a verb, so it's something that's happening. So for example, you can see on the picture here, it says bad weather abates when good weather begins to return. Abates, it's when it's referring to something that's hostile or threatening or negative. It's when that thing becomes less intense or widespread. So I might say the bad weather abates or my angry feelings abate when I start to feel better. Okay, our next word is cortex. This is found on page 27 of the Phineas Gage book, and this is a noun. The cortex is the outer layer of the cerebrum or the cerebral cortex. It's composed of folded gray matter and playing an important role in consciousness, right? So here's the cortex of the brain. It's the folded part. Our next word is hemispheres. And that's half of a sphere or a circular object. So for example, the brain has two hemispheres. Our next word is cordial. Cordial means warm and friendly. And our final word is neuron. A neuron is a cell which is a part of the nervous system. Neurons send messages to and from the brain. Don't forget to find all of your synonyms, antonyms, the sentence in the book, and then use each word in its own sentence on your assignment.